Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I want to give you an update on what the tracking intensity is going to be expected from uh, Hurricane Laura. Also, what's, what's left from Marco and what you have coming from that as far as the rain and, and the winds that you're going to be feeling. Uh, God bless you all today. I hope you have a, a very blessed and safe day. Uh, now, I have some news for you today. I got, thank you for all you uh, referring to my brother about how he's doing. Uh, as far as I know, he is doing better now. He is able to eat mashed potatoes. Uh, it was jello for a long time, so thank you. God bless you for caring. He does appreciate you for it. Uh, also, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you noticed yet on this video. I'm waiting for it because it's still in progress to finish doing what it has to do. But thanks to all of you, I might be able to now support my family doing what I do best you know praise God for one but give you the weather that you need and give you the updates just to notify you because uh, we're going to be monetized now we've done surpassed what we needed on everything and we are good so I, I praise you and I thank you for showing support to me and the way that I want to do this now let me hurry up and get on into this God bless you all thank you so much uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and let you know that this is going to be a, a cat three uh, major hurricane on landfall. I mean, it's going to go over land for a minute before it starts going down in intensity. So please uh, listen carefully to the to the forecast. It will change, at, you know, a little bit. It's going to might wobble a little left and right, but just pay attention, please. The severe weather that you're having now, it will dissipate as far as strength and all this green rain you see here. It will stay strong along the coast, and it will finally get down to a narrow circle. And all this will go away, but you still have the worst yet to come tonight. As you can see, these bands get pretty bad over Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Now, the 10-meter winds, this tells you everything you want to know about impact from these storms. And I have a few things that you really need to see. As far as dangerous pop-up bands, that could be a big problem, uh, especially for western Florida. Now, as, as you see, sometimes, well, let me zoom in a little more so you can see the impact. I'm showing it's going to be headed straight for New Orleans as far as the intensity. Uh, but as you can see, like say Dolphin Island over here, there's a lot of water, so it's going to pull in towards Mobile, and that's why you probably get a lot of b bad weather because of this body of water. Uh, now, when it comes in, you're going to see the colors. 25 bright pink would be 30, which is still can be damaging. It you can imagine so many things that a little bit of wind can do that people forget. But still, the damage in it, you really want to look out for is the bright white that's the tropical depression tropical storm winds uh, coming at you and this is 10 meters above sea level so if you're if you're below sea level that's a different story but you got your 20s and the pink that's i just want to show you because i see that creeping up like you see pascagoula okay it, it is the 20s that's, that's a little bit brighter of a 20 coming in uh so it's gonna be a little bit higher but mostly everybody gets the 20s all up on the islands here. It's all pinkish. Some gets into Louisiana uh, by New Orleans, South New Orleans. And then it grows over the land pinkish. All that is pinkish. None of the white comes on land. It, it gets pretty much absorbed. Uh, Biloxi looks like the most uh, place that's going to get the most of the winds. Because you can see as it moves in, these are still 20s right the pink it's in the 20s but yet you do get some wind that could be tropical depression uh, possibilities because this is around the edge of you so just be aware of that if you are somewhere in that area of Biloxi but this is what I see from Marco guys this is not you know the rain because that's in another location uh, but this is your wind damage this is the stuff that really tears everything apart with the rain um, what I show though is the main thing you got to worry about is going to be Laura. Uh, as you can see, a band starting to rip out from Laura as it goes towards the Keys. And you really need to see this Key West because this is something. Uh, it actually bands out and busses through, and you can see the very high point that comes out of that. Um, but these are very strong winds coming at you as it is. It's going to be tropical depression, tropical storm winds. With heavy rains, I don't know about the range. I didn't check that that part yet, but it whips up a band right here, which could go towards Tampa. It could change it a little bit, but you see how it grows a little bit, and it's going to expand to where it's going to do some 
effect before it dies. It's trying to go and then it just whops out and dies out. But that that is, is going to be a dangerous tropical storm band that could easily, if it moves more uh, to the east over Florida, that could take out some trees, take out some power. Just saying, uh, be aware of that. And there's that rip. See that rip right there? That's what we saw after Laura gets past Key West. That's that rip who's falling. See how it's hitting Tampa? So Tampa, be aware of that. Got some really damaging winds pushing that sucker. And then it gets localized. After all this goes away, it calms down for a moment. Still pushes up in Mississippi, Mississippi and Alabama. Y'all get it really rut, uh, rough. Right? Watch out for the, the flooding. But after this, it, it gets down and localized to just uh, rare New Orleans, and then it moves towards Jackson, and then you got uh, Laura moving in. Now, when Laura comes, she's going to bring some rumbling sto uh, storms with her with a lot of power. It's all behind her. It's going to whip around as soon as it hits. Uh, let's see. I got 8 a.m. on the 26th. You're going to start getting effects already, and these storms are stretching pretty far. I'll play it so we can see it in, in real timing. Uh, this will change probably every six hours as far as intensity, just so we can get more detail uh, of what's going to happen. Now, you've seen the wind gust, You've seen the damage in wind. So I'll, imagine all that with this. This is just severe storms that you're going to get out of it. Uh, this is going to be all the heavy water, all, all the flooding, a lot of the power outages. Be aware for power outages. If you are, or if it's, hopefully it's not too late, but if you can get an extra battery for your phone, charge that up just so you have an extra one. You're going to need it. This this thing is, is a pretty big monster. And it's headed straight for Macomb. I mean, straight from, it's going to rip right up Mississippi. It was supposed to go up uh, Louisiana, but it, like I said, this will bobble a little left and right until it definitely has a direct uh, track. Uh, but as of right now, it looks like it's headed for Macomb and Jackson, Mississippi. So be aware of that, guys. Quick shot of what everybody else is going to get uh, within the nearby states from this hitting. You do see the bands go all the way to South Carolina. A lot of heavy rain. Uh, but it looks like Mississippi is going to get a really bad impact so far from this is the way it's looking. And then we play the last few clicks that we get to see what's left. Uh, I'll probably up this, update this maybe around midnight because that, that's when we'll have a new look at this. But that is a big storm. Wow. Well, leave your, leave your comments and let me know what you think about this. You think this track is going to stay the same for Mississippi or do you think it's going to head for Florida or even turn to western Louisiana again? Because we did see a lot of, ta of Tallahassee, and we did see a lot of, of uh, northwest, I'm mean, sorry, northeast Texas, uh, Beaumont. So we, we will see. Now, as Laura moves through with her big self, spinning greatly, uh, you can calculate the hours of the intensity. And the reason why I say that is because when you get there, you're going to see it maxes out. At 120.8 miles per hour, which is green right here, is not good enough as it is. It's already showing over 100. Yet, let's get to the very darkest part of the storm when it intensifies. Not even the purple. Let's get to the black. Let's just say black and give it the least chance it has for intensity while it's already getting intense with the purple. A little bigger so you can get an idea of the tropical storm that's coming with it effects now when you go to the purple you're going to see that it has a high number it maxes out at 120.8 you're not going to get nothing higher right now i don't know if that's being blocked in a certain way or what because this is all the same uh radar information that other people are using from you know agencies and government now as it moves in my point is the time now let's get to the first black part, and we have 3 a.m. on the 26th is where I show the blackness, and it starts intensifying. Now, as it moves through, it stays around and gets stronger before landfall at that intensity. And this is at 9 a.m. That's six hours later. So six hours of the same miles per hour, that, that, that don't sound right. 
Uh, but you tell me in six hours' time how much intensity could that really have really get? Because they, they're not letting us see that. Now, as it comes on land, you see the purples. That's 116, 118, all the way up to 119. That's going to be an issue. Uh, it looks like it heads straight for uh, New Orleans. I mean, it really does. A little bit west, uh, but it does come in. And those, those are bad winds as well that you're looking. That's Hurricane Forest. That's 90s. This is going to be destructive winds. This is going to do a lot of damage uh, to, to a lot of people. That's why I'm going to show this one playing. There's Manville. That's where I grew up. Lake Pontchartrain uh, fuels it a little bit for a moment, and the winds get, get powerful again from all the water. Gets over 100 again, passing by Lake Pontchartrain. And all this white is all tropical storm winds coming in front of it, 30s and 40s, and going down to 50s and 60s with all this orange. So this is all getting hit again. And this always heads, for some reason, to my hometown, amongst all y'all's y'all town, because everybody's going to be affected by this. I mean, this is... Later at 6 p.m. on a 26, and in Macomb, it's going to be 50 miles an hour winds, and all these are in the 30s, uh, right here on the pink, on the edge of the white. The pink's all 20s. But as you get closer, it gets worse, 40s and 50s. So it's, this will change a little bit, because like I said, it's not over uh, the islands yet. It might be just now getting where it's just getting free from the islands and now it's making this track so that we will update this again maybe later tonight if there's any significant change but if not uh, i'll just wait till tomorrow now the tropical storm winds that you're going, going to be getting from marco uh, this is tropical storm marco right here making it in you're still gonna be getting tropical storm tropical depression up in monroeville M mobile uh, but you still have strong winds coming on shore so as the, the day goes by, this is what you're going to get from it. The greens are in the 20s, uh, the orange is the 30s, the dark orange is the 40s. Uh, the red gets into the 50s and 60s, but the red's still over uh, water right now. This goes into 1, 1 p.m. today. The winds start to come down a little bit, but Mobile, Alabama, you will get tropical storm winds throughout the rest of the day, it looks like. So be aware of that, but at least it's not the 50s and 60s. Now this is your wind gust. That's why you got to pay attention to every model. That way you can see this, the shape of the storm. You got to know, know what the 10 meter winds are. You got to know what the wind gusts are. You got to know what precipitation is. And you got to know the strength from above as well. Because uh, you, you want to know if it's going to weaken or if it's uh, strong up there to where it could be uh, stronger on you. Now as we come on with uh, Laura, you can see that Laura skims by uh, Florida. We do get some very gusty uh, 50s and 60s. Uh, the red is where you get into the 50s and the pinks the 60s. Uh, on these winds coming off of Tampa, of Florida, of Western Florida. So I do show that Western Florida, I know it's, it's been a question on whether or not y'all going to get any uh, effects over here. I'm showing tropical depression and tropical storm winds from Cape Coral to Tampa. Uh, so let me see when that will start for you. It looks like it does start right around 1 a.m. on the 25th. So 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. Be aware these tropical storm winds will be moving into your area. Uh, so far, it's going to be a few hours. I'll give it till 4 a.m., and then it starts to get further away. Now, this is where the starts probably going to get some red. I'm looking at this for the first time, just as you. But you can see the strength popping up out the center because I saw a purple just a second ago. That is at 10.30 in the morning tomorrow morning, and that's a lot longer than the eight hours uh, that we had from the previous videos. It's already going. Look at that. And I expect it to be even stronger than this when I, when I see it in a few more hours to get another update. I can guarantee you it's going to be stronger than this. Uh, you're going to have 109 miles per hour wind gust. Okay, that's what you're going to get from this. The pink is the 60s, the 70s for the purple, uh, 30s to high 30s in the orange. But it looks like it's headed so far straight for New Orleans. Now, this is going to wobble a little bit. Uh, a little bit keep that in mind i see all the way from tallahassee still all the way to the edge of houston uh by the original by beaumont i see it still could wobble a little bit so give it time because it still has another piece of land to go over but it looks like it's strengthening as it's going over it so it might just rample over that and not change course at all and that's still just so you know that yellow right there is still 90 miles per hour winds i that black all that black was still a cat 3 major that you saw coming on land 
and it's still going across to the North Shore, which is pretty close uh, to the North Shore. But the North, right here, you got Lake Pontchartrain in the circle, and this is the North Shore on this side, and New Orleans on the other side. But it's 109 miles per hour uh, available uh, wind gusts coming. So I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of damage down below as well. So this whole area right here needs to be warned because this is going to be a heavy impact area. Psalm 18. I shall have affection for you, O Jehovah, my strength. Jehovah is my crag, my stronghold, and the provider of escape for me. My God is my rock. I shall take refuge in him. My shield and my horn of salvation, my secure height. On the one to be praised, Jehovah, I shall call. And from my enemies, I shall be saved. The ropes of death encircled me. Flash floods of good-for-nothing men also kept terrifying me. The very ropes of shields surrounded around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I kept calling upon Jehovah. And to my God, I kept crying for help. Out of his temple, he proceeded to hear my voice. And my own cry before him for help now came into his ears. And the earth began to shake and rock, and the foundations of the mountains themselves became agitated, and they kept shaking back and forth because he had been angered. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and fire itself from his mouth kept devouring. Coals themselves blazed forth from him. And he proceeded to bend the heavens down and descend, and thick gloom was beneath his feet. And he came riding upon the cherub and came flying, and he came darting upon the wings of a spirit. He then made darkness his concealment place, all around him as his booth. Dark waters, thick clouds, out of the brightness in front of him there were his clouds that passed by, hail and burning coals of fire, and in heavens Jehovah's began to thunder, and the Most High himself began to give his voice, hail and burning coals of fire, and he kept sending out his arrows that he might scatter them, and lightning he shot out that he might throw them into confusion. And the stream beds of waters became visible, and the foundations of the productive land became uncovered. From your rebuke, O Jehovah, from the blast of your breath of your nostrils, he was sinning from on high. He was taking me. He was drawing me out of the great waters. He was delivering me from my, in my strong enemy and from those hating me because they were stronger than I. They kept confronting me in the day of my disaster, but Je Jehovah came to be as a support for me. Amen. God bless you all. I hope that y'all have a blessed day today and I hope uh, these impacts do change. But I, I, I will keep my eye open uh, for each and every one of you. I appreciate you for watching. Have a great night.